What up, y'all? It's your boy Striding here with another episode. You know how we do. Get it in with some Lex. I know you guys have been waiting to see some of this Lex. He's a savage. He's terrifying out here in these streets. Hopefully show you guys uh, how to play him well, properly, or if I'm getting dealt with, show you how, uh, how not to play him. Or at least how to counter him or how to deal with him. Thank you guys again, as always, for joining me. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. So we're about to get a real sexy side with Paladins today, with this Lex. What do we want to build? What do we want to build here? And that's our fellow X. Makes sense. Nada. We got a crap ton of damage. Probably gonna go Haven here to be honest, right off the rip. Just to try to outlast that damage, that, that burst that's gonna be coming out from all these characters. Give myself as much opportunity to uh, to dish it back out as well. So. This guy. I think going to be focusing her. Double kill. Double. You know, and I still have my points. Try to finish this off. You know, I have to can live with absolutely no help. Ah! Ah! Double kill. We pushed it a little bit. That was risky. I'm lucky I didn't get popped there to be completely honest. Not sure what that sky was doing. Ah! Almost had her. She called me low health. I think I still could have outplayed her. I should have used my dash there. The dash is just so good for just offsetting battles or any kind of uh, duels you're having. Do you feel like maybe you're just maybe a little behind in your shot? But on surf, you're gonna win that dash to give you a, a great opportunity to replace yourself. Honestly, just kind of freak out your opponent. <laughs> the fact, that you can still shoot and you can cast pursuit, which is something I, I honestly did not know so recently. I'm embarrassing myself, but there's that. Nara played that really well. We just met anybody on the point. Ruckus was chasing tails, it looked like. One thing I can suggest for just about any character is. If you pick a certain character, do the best you can to play that role. I know some of these characters, especially frontliners like Ruckus, are able to do damage too, but they're put in there for a reason. They do have a purpose. And if you don't run that purpose or play that purpose, it does make it harder for uh, other people to play the role. So, do the best you can. That's not to say you can't play uh, characters off role. I'm not saying that. But one thing I've always learned in competitive gaming, the better, the, the better, the better you play your role, uh, I feel like just the, the higher chance of just winning in general. Chances increase. Doesn't guarantee wins, but I do feel like uh, increasing your chances tremendously. Double so one thing I do suggest as well, and again, with my, as with all flankers, the closer you are, Literally, physically, to your, the, your characters are firing out, the more damage you are going to do. And the further away, you're going to see some fall off. So that's why all these flankers usually have some form of escape or some, some way to try to get in and then get out. Because they're insanely relying on that burst damage, being able to kill quickly, and then just trying to get the hell out of there. I think I'm gonna did not mean to go death fans there. Did not mean to go death fans there. Did want to go second level of Haven most likely. Maybe even I'm gonna hold off. Sometimes they get a little indecisive. With my with my eyes, to be honest. Time's ticking. Thirty seconds oh, Double here. Oof. I had one coming in from behind me as well. Seconds remaining. I don't know what I could have done. Maybe I could have tried to double back there. He just outplayed this guy, honestly, instead of just running towards the other team. It's probably the best option. 
I'll play one instead of running into the whole squad. I am gonna go nimble. Maybe to help me with uh seven, six, five. Some of the duels, I'm getting a lot of me one doing. Overtime. You can always tell if there's a good Inara if they use that wall. Because her that wall. Any of you that play May in Overwatch, that you, you you know that wall is 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 what really makes May so insane. <coughs> hmm. Think about going to the kill the hill, but that's still not gonna necessarily help me get that Maeve. She's the only one I'm gonna Point spawning in fifteen seconds. I think I might go to kill it though. Because they have a, quite a few people that are fairly squishy. I'm not having too many issues getting the kills. That way if, if I do get the kill and then she pulls up on me like she's done before, I can engage her possibly for whatever. That's my thought process. At least. No sir. Not this time, baby girl. Alright, so now I want to get this. Oh, bad shot by me, but I was able to finish it off anyway. Oh. Completely wasted that all. God bless. Went for some style points. Just uh, hoping maybe somebody would come around the corner. Blessings. It did not happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm just staying on the point purely because more people want it. The uh, faster it captures. I don't think a lot of people know that. But pay attention to that point, boys. If you, if you get a good team white, get on that point. Don't worry about chasing down the kills. So much. That's why I come to play a role, but you don't know if everybody else is going to do it, so it, just get on the point. As soon as you, you can kind of keep an eye on, uh, ooh, this is awesome for me. Here, here. Now, when it, honestly, when it comes to, uh, my pursuit, I usually like to use pursuit to engage first, because with the heals that you get from it, it kind of mitigates the initial damage given. Uh, Ah! Um, and then usually it ends up being just a one or two shot to finish off whoever you're, especially squishies in the back line. So it's easy to land those initial so shots with pursuit. It kind of guarantees damage and gives you a little bit of a heal. And then it just kind of comes to you having to land just a one or two shots, which is sometimes just easier. Just, just to, even when it comes to your mindset, knowing all you have to do is just land one or two shots as opposed to trying to be so it heads up. Again, that's just kind of my thought going into how I'm playing this character. That's how I try to use his abilities. Again, Pursuit being the, uh, the left trigger, I guess I haven't even broken down his, his abilities. Excuse me, my god. Okay, so his main his main autos are he runs around the dual magnets, which is the honest. It's, it's just sexy off it. The way his, automa his animations look amazing, um, he's just a fantastic character. And there's that Savage Alfie, which I will get to shortly. But again, his main ability is firing off dual magnums. That's just going to be his basic. That's what you're going to be seeing all the time here. Just him blasting away. Uh, um, his RB, uh, I do believe, what is that? It's known as um, Combat Slide. Uh, basically, activate to quickly slide forward in the direction you are facing, retaining the ability to fire your weapons. So again, the great thing about Combat Slide is you are able to fire your weapons during that Combat Slide, including the ability to fire Pursuit. Which I think is fantastic. You can you fire it during the slide. You can fire it before it then slide. Um, which really, those two options are pretty much firing. And maybe I guess at the very, very end of the slide as well. Maybe if you just struggle to aim during the slide. Um, all those are options. That's why he's just. I still haven't really mastered his his, his full kit yet. To be completely honest, because he's able to do quite a bit. And that combat slide is a big part of it. And I don't really do it enough in combat. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I mean, uh, um, Alright, so I'm going to be, again, just going to get behind everyone and just put the guns to the back of their heads, boys. I'm talking real close! And you just fire away. That's where you're going to be optimizing your damage. That's when you're going to be getting those two, three shots. Especially if you get your hitting by in the head. And again, as you can see, if you stand on that point, ah, I, got no! I thought 
thought that was it. I, that was a terrible slide by me. Just horrific slide. You can see I'm just not really doing damage there from that distance, so it's not just wasting your shot there and honestly wasting your time. I'm gonna go ahead and pursue that just to finish it. Ah! Because I saw them finishing. I didn't do it fast enough to be honest. That was probably a bad prioritization by me, maybe? I should have. I mean, just a lack of awareness. I should have been paying a little more attention to how fast they were capturing that point. Because that they just got that for pretty much no reason. We were all up. They were all getting uh, decimated. That Haven, boys. Do you see how that's helping us there? Her initial burst is being completely mitigated. And while she's even doing her ability, I'm just blowing her away. That's two, three shots into her. Oh! That combat slide, baby! So there, you can see how the combat slide is just so effective. That was a perfect area for Shaolin to fire and his ability there. And because I was able to slide past the kind of underneath some shots, get behind him, or to the side of him, uh, just kind of honestly made a good play by him. He's pretty useless. I'm in trouble here, to be honest. I don't know what I was doing there. I should have backed off. I just got hyped. I got hyped points. Yeah, I should have known better. And our guys should have gone on those. So I went max level Haven. I'm going to focus on the on the Nimble now. I probably didn't need to go, honestly, max level Haven. To be completely honest. Uh, but we have any, they do have a lot of damage, though. So I mean, it's not hurting us. So I'm going to tell you that right now. Well played by her. Oops. Oops. I mean, even with that max level, she only hit me with the poison dart. She, I don't even think she got any autos off of me that sky there, and she still took about half my health. And that's <laughs> that's real. Ah! Are you looking to get the double here? Right, I'll get the. I'll be involved on both. I'm gonna try and get an R low and then alt her to maximize this. Ah! She did put that sh that wall up. I'm not sure if she could have blocked that with the wall, or if she just... I don't know, maybe she just missed timing, because I blew through the wall as well, so I'm not sure. He's hurt, son. Oh! That was a great stun by him. He probably could have killed me there. He just missed his auto. The follow-up shot. Oh! Oh no, I'm dead here probably. Unless I can get this- Ah! Yeah, the Mave is pretty good at least finishing, so if I don't make, if I don't land everything on that Mave, uh, she, she takes me out. Excuse me. So, to get back to what the, the abilities, you have Combat Slide, which is your RB. LB is called Retribution. Uh, you, have a, you have a Retribution target. This is revealed to you. That is revealed to you when nearby. Killing your target grants additional credits if they are on a kill streak. Okay, I didn't realize it was on a kill streak, but it does show you, by the way, if your target is on a cruise kill streak and how many credits you'll receive seconds. there at the bottom of your screen, um, you can see Maeve is my target, and it shows the 45 credits right next to her, is what I'll receive for killing her. So they do a great job of explaining Five, everything and showing four, you. Um, three, activating two, retrib retribution, two, excuse me, retribution randomly selects a new target. So, if I were to hit a retribution right now, which I won't just so that I don't get up the plus, it would select a different target other than Maeve, but honestly Maeve is a good target for me because she's, she's the one I'm having the most trouble with. So they're doing a better job. I, I should have attacked there. I need to go all the way around with these points because I like to come fully around. Okay, he was expecting you me to just Try to finish him there. The shot is terrible. Your Since I can't really see, I'm going to try and avoid his ult. I've just gotten a little busy talking and have completely failed doing what I need to be doing as a blanket. So I'm sorry. Woo! I'm going to work. Another thing I love about that combat, you can reload in your combat slot. It, again, it's just all around. So when you get to that pivotal point where you're like, oh god, I need to reload, reload and dash. And then you are right back to firing away. While keeping. Oh no! Was that her wall, or did I just slide into something random? No, I was just a great wall of her. Didn't even notice she put it up. 
I'm gonna go second kill the deal. Okay, if we lose here, this will be completely my fault. Alright. I thought I had her low enough. I needed one more auto on her. That's too bad. Let me focus up here. This is actually a good video seeing how to play and how not to play actually. When you play Lex, use the element of surprise. And I say that for any flanker. You do not want them to see you coming. Roll up. Back of the head. I'm going to pace my shots. Oh, she got that off. That is too bad. That's too bad. I didn't notice it first until after I had already <laughs> already slid, so I uh, couldn't prevent the, the cheek being spread. So again, I'm always looking just to show up from behind as much as possible. It looks like Lex does have me revealed, so he's looking for me, that's okay. But he's not out able to outplay me, unfortunately. Oh god! Ah! No! And just as I say, he embarrasses me! Well played by the Lex. I would, did not look like I was in range for that though. Dang it. It is a little laggy though, so that could have, uh, Pierce's could be, could be deceiving. Good D there. I'm really glad we stopped that because I was just playing piss poor there. Absolutely horribly in that last uh, initial push, so. Sorry about that, guys. Real quick, just going to try to finish out in pursuit. You begin firing, uh, rapidly firing your magnums at the nearest target to you with perfect aim. Now, when it says perfect aim, if you are able to keep them pretty much center of your screen, your shots are going to lay. If they are getting to the side of your screen where you're kind of in this weirdness where you're trying to keep up with them, sometimes the shots are going to miss. So it does not guarantee uh, damage. Uh, but it is much, much easier to land than your normal autos. So I sometimes I hear people saying it's 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 auto aim. It's, it it does it, it is much easier to land, but it's not guaranteed. It's the best that way I can explain it. Again, that can also be fired in your combat slot. I misplayed there in the, a couple of rounds there. I was too busy talking. But you did get to get a good balance of play there. You get to see what you should do. And as I played at the very beginning, was very, very flank oriented. Got a lot of kills early and was able to just kind of follow the team and just push on the point. And then afterwards, I got distracted and uh, kind of started pushing in the midpoint. Started kind of attacking from up front. Uh, just not making good decisions in general. But uh, you can see Lex is capable of unbelievable damage if you play him properly uh, again use the dash because you could use pretty much everything else while you're dashing um, and again focus on especially if you're in your in your 1v1s or if you're boxing with someone uh, and you go into that reload try to use save those dashes only I believe a three or four second uh, cooldown depending on what cards you set up for them um, but yeah if you're able to dash during that reload, you can really kind of uh, offset the, the issue of the fact that you're unable to fire, uh, reposition yourself, avoid damage, um, or even possibly fire off your pursuit or whatever the case is, but the dash is just a, a key uh, ability for him to, to really set up anything and everything. So 
that's a little bit of Lex. I am going to be doing more videos on him. Uh, if you guys enjoyed yourselves, then absolutely all. Uh, please make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe, please. I appreciate you big time. I love you all so, 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 so much. Uh, also, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash striding. Uh, you can also hit me up on, on Twitter as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you dearly. See you next time.